Hey guys, I'm back. I haven't filmed for a really long time. As soon as we got back from Cancun last week, Monday, our kids got so sick for about a week and they're now slowly getting better. I think they got sick from someone in the airplane. But we did have a lot of fun and in about five hours, we are also leaving to Boston. Um, it's 11.45 right now, but we have to leave the house at 4 a.m. Super early flight. So I wanted to get this filmed and edited for you guys before we leave since we're going for about 10 days i know i won't be able to film while i'm there and i know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this part two video so today i will talk about post-op like everything after surgery how i took care of my breast my scars for those that are curious about um, the day of consultation the type of implants where i got it done and all that i talked about that on part one so i will place that video link down below in the video info box it's been about five months since i got it done wow time flies so it does feel a lot natural and looks more natural now. So on um, part one, I ended it when I was staying overnight at the clinic. It was so nice. I had my own room. I had my own um, hospital bed and Aiden had his own uh, sofa bed too. So he slept right next to me. So I stayed overnight for one night. And while I was there, I'm not going to lie, I was in pain, but it wasn't to the point where I was like screaming or crying. I think I'm more tolerant to pain now after I got my two C-section. On the day of surgery, I just watched TV, I ate, caught the nurse a lot whenever I was uncomfortable or I needed more medications. The next morning, Claire from Beauty Korea, she came to pick me up at the clinic. Um, I was in a lot of pain and I was walking slow, slowly. I felt bad because Aiden and Claire had to wait on me since I was walking really, really slow. Uh, she said it's different for everyone. Some people on the day of surgery, they're just up and walking around everywhere. They're not in any pain. Some people are in more pain than others. So I think I was like right in between. So she got us a ride. So as soon as we walked out of the clinic, the car was waiting for us. So he took us to the Airbnb home where we were staying. Um, that day, I just ate all day like ate good food i love korea mainly because of the food and they also like a lot of the restaurants deliver to your home so i made sure that i got up and walked around for a few minutes and not just sit on the bed all day long because the nurse said i have to like walk around in order to recover faster and so that i don't get any blood clots i did have like this bandage thing wrapped around me so I couldn't see the results and I didn't know how big it was. I kind of saw like the cleavage in the center when I looked down and had no idea how it looked like. I was so curious. Um, I think that's the main thing that was kind of uncomfortable for me the first few days since that's on pretty tight. I couldn't sleep straight down. I had to kind of lean and sleep. So yeah, my tailbone was hurting. Plus I was still not adjusted to the time difference since I got my surgery done right when I got to Korea. So for medications, I was given Tylenol, which I only took like the first two dose and I stopped taking it because I was also taking other medications. So I didn't want to take too much at once. And uh, antibiotics, I think, so that I don't get any infections. And then I took this other medications for the breast for about three months. For shower, I was told I couldn't shower until the stitches came off, which I took it off on the eighth day. So my hair was itching like crazy. So like on the third day, finally, I was like, I'm gonna go downstairs to the hair salon and wash my hair. So that's what I did for the first eight days. I went downstairs. Luckily, there was a hair salon at the building that I was staying at. So I just leaned on the seat and they washed my hair for me. The bandage casting, I took it off on the third day. So I went back to Panobagi and they took it off and that's when I saw the results. And the doctor came in and he was like, oh, it turned out so great. Of course, at first it was a little bigger since it was super swollen. As soon as they cut that off, I was like, oh, I could breathe. Um, everything was so much better. So for the stitches, I just had to put like this ointment thing on it and I put a stereotape on top for the first 
four weeks. So the doctor told me to be extra careful, don't run into anything, don't let people run into you, um, and also not to hold anything heavy. Like I think it was up to seven pounds. Both of my kids do weigh over 25 pounds. So luckily my mother-in-law was watching the kids at um, Ulsan for the first 14 days while I recovered. Overall, I am happy with the results. Uh, no regrets. I took off my stitches on the eighth day and I couldn't really feel anything because it was still numb, but they did it in like five minutes. So after that, I was able to shower finally. So I know a lot of people are asking about my scar. I did get the under incision, under the boob incision. And I started using the silicone tapes that are used for my C-section uh, one starting one month after surgery and I still use it. They said to use it for, I forgot how long, was it two, three months? But I still wear it just in case, since I know I'm the type that gets keloids or keloids. First pregnancy, I had a huge keloid, like it was like a chunk this big on my C-section scar. But on my second pregnancy, the doctor actually cut the keloid off and now I don't have any keloids. I take really good care of it. The first time I didn't know about the um, silicone gel so I didn't use it but the second time Aiden was like um, researching about keloids and he told me to start using the silicone tape so I used the silicone tape for about eight months after surgery for my breast augmentation scar I was really really worried that I'll get keloids but I'm so glad I didn't so the first two months the scar was kind of pink of course because it's a new scar and now it's white i'm hoping it's just going to fade away before i came back to america i stopped by the clinic to say bye to the staff and to the doctor and i also wanted to get this after care treatment for the breast so i did that which only took like 20 minutes so i wrote down some questions that a lot of people were asking me through emails so i just wanted to answer that in this video as well so number one you had to replace it I was also curious about this, so I asked the doctor as soon as I got to the clinic and he said, nope, their clinic, like the type of implant, noob implants that they use, you don't have to replace it. I know some type of implants, you have to replace it like every 10 years. Uh, number two was also do you have to massage it? Some of my friends that got it done years ago, they had to massage it kind of like, you know, when you're breastfeeding, it's like hard and sore so you have to kind of massage it to make it feel better so i know my friends had to do that a long time ago but i asked my doctor and they said the implants that they use doesn't require any massage number three blood drainage pouch thing my friends that also got it done like years ago i think 10 years ago she had to get this blood drainage pouch thing here for the first few days after surgery to drain the blood out so i also asked about that and he said nope the implant that they use doesn't require the drainage thing so i was like Whew. how does it feel of course the first few months first three months is still kind of hard and firm for me after the third month it started getting softer and feels more natural now the bottom of my breast was still numb for the first two months and it just slowly started coming back this one left side took longer i think it's because i got more work done like i removed my lumps and stuff so that was pretty much all the things that i wanted to cover for this part two video hopefully i'm not forgetting anything i will show some pictures of cancun now or after i stop talking so you can kind of see the results how it looks now I'm going to finish packing now since I have to catch a flight in four hours. Uh, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment down below and I will probably do like a breast augmentation Q&A video next and answer some of the questions that you guys leave in this video. So uh, thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!